Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. My name is Julio. If you are new to the channel, uh, what we are talking about here is our transition from living in a house to moving into our RV full time and traveling the country for at least the next year. In today's video, we're going to talk again about the WeBoost Connect RV65. I think I said that right. Um, in a previous video where I initially ordered it and tried to install it, what I had done was that I had mounted it here on the side of the RV. I don't know if you can see the outline. And I, and I used uh, one of the, another spot right here, actually right here. That did not work. A few days later, the, uh, the antenna was and the pole were laying down on the ground. I will say that that is partially my mistake, probably mostly my mistake because I didn't prep the area properly by wiping it clean and using alcohol and then setting the, um, the 3M tape that comes with the little holder. So what I ended up doing was I had to find a new place to mount it. And I really didn't want to use this same area again. Even though I do like this general location of the RV, I didn't want to use it again because I was afraid that it just wasn't going to make a good connection there because of the of the way that the aluminum is um, formed. What I ended up doing, or what I'm going to do, is that I'm going to mount it right there on the side of the RV. And that's what I wanted to show you today. After the antenna fell down, I didn't have any more of the tape that originally came with uh, the Wii Boost. So what I ended up doing, I bought some Gorilla glue, some white Gorilla glue, and I was <laughs> with the hopes that that would work. And initially, I didn't think it would, but now that I've let it sit here for about an hour, I'm actually really impressed at how uh, hard this is on here. So this glue does expand after you set it on there. And uh, what I did was that I made sure that I wiped, I took all the, I, I scraped all of the old 3M tape off of that. And then um, I wiped it off with some alcohol. And then uh, I wiped off this actual area of the RV also. I wiped it clean and then I also used alcohol. And then I applied some of this glue just along the edge. You have to make sure that the surface of this little holder here is damp to work with the glue. Now, the reason that that one has tape on top is because when the glue is still fresh, it doesn't set right away and it starts to slide down. So I used some uh, painter's tape to just hold it up there. This one down here was being held up by this lip, but you can see that some of it kind of ran down. So I'm just going to scrape that off. But that is on there really solid. And just to make extra sure, I also have some uh, Gorilla tape that I'm just gonna just put a little bit on the outside, basically just to stop the wind from hitting it. Um, <clears throat> now, one, one concern that I did have was if the, if the slide would close and the instruction manual in the WeBoost does actually recommend to use this side of the RV for an aluminum frame. So they obviously know that uh, this will close and these are pretty thin actually, so. Uh, and if you look in the side, there's a pretty large gap that uh, when this closes. So I'm really not concerned about that. I'm actually I'm going to try it in just a minute and make sure it closes. But uh, I think it's going to I think it's going to be a good solution. And I will tell you that the uh, the uh, Wii Boost has actually been really really good. I'm super impressed. Without it, there's sometimes that we can't even make phone calls uh, inside the RV. But as soon as I turn it on, I mean we get full bars. Uh, last night I was online all night uh, doing some websites and uh, my speeds were way way faster than if I tried to connect with our Wi-Fi so and, and I, I didn't do it the last time but this time I'll try and show you some speed tests as well so I'm gonna try hooking this up and show you how all that uh, looks now that I've had this taped on there all right guys I hope that the camera can pick this up well but I used some Gorilla tape just to outline uh, the little holder there and uh, it looks like it's on there really really solid uh, so I'm hoping that even if this fails that at least this tape will hold uh, the pole up 
long enough for me to figure out that I need to, you know, fix it. So this is just a backup right here. Uh, I just, I don't want it to fall again. <laughs> so now I'm just going to do that one up there and then I'm going to mount uh, the pole back on the RV. So now that I have the antenna mounted, the plan is to take this coax cable here and run it along the bottom of the RV. I hope it makes it. I never actually measured it out, but I don't know that it's going to make it. And it's not. So, <laughs> oh, you know what? I have more coax cable. The plan is to run it from there in through our garage. Sorry, that water leaking is from the AC unit and drill a hole in there so that I can plug it in and then have a semi-permanent mounted uh, location for the interior antenna. All right, so fortunately the uh, WeBoost Connect RV65 comes with plenty of coax cable. So I just connected another section that I had put away because I wasn't using it at the time. And now I have plenty of cable to go ahead and run it through there and start doing the drilling so that I can start the mounting process. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As I said, my current plan is to run that coax cable in through uh, the garage area and drill a hole so that the coax cable will come out through the top of here and then I can permanently plug the WeBoost right here. So I can plug in the WeBoost there, and then the other side, which connects to the interior antenna, can get mounted somewhere, somewhere here. However, I'm not starting it yet because I really want to think through my process before I start making holes inside the RV. Um, if I can do anything to the RV without drilling any holes, uh, that is my goal. And now that I'm kind of thinking about it again, I might be able to pass this cable through the slide here, which would then come out here at the bottom, and I can just run the cable up along this edge and mount the interior antenna here on the wall. The idea is for the antenna to end up somewhere here because that's where our table is and that's where we do most of our, our work. So the closer the antenna is to us, the stronger signal you have. And it, it says, I believe that this is supposed to cover 5,000 square feet, which is obviously way more than this RV. But I do find that the closer you are to the antenna, the stronger the signal. Okay guys, here is a semi-permanent position. What I ended up doing was, uh, right there in that plug, I used the our extension cord, where then I plugged the power to the WeBoost, because it fits underneath the door. And then I just used the different coax cables. Um, so here's the one that's coming in from outside, connected to the WeBoost. And then here's the one for the antenna. I rolled it up and shoved it here in the back. And then the antenna actually fits perfectly in this space right here. So I don't even have to like, and it's snug in there too. I mean, it's not like crazy tight, but it's, I don't, it's not going to fall. Yeah, it's, it's not pretty, but um, I didn't have to make any holes. So that's a plus. And um, I think we'll probably work something out a little better so that what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably trim this really long coax cable so that I can maybe semi mount maybe this somewhere here but I want to avoid this situation right here this is where we had a picture that just wasn't sticking and now these are no good and we got that there so it's better than what it was when we just had it going in on that side and it was all bunch of cables here on the ground and everything so I think it's looking a lot better and I always sit right there anyways with my laptop 
So I'm really close to the antenna, so I should get excellent signal. All right, it's been several hours since I reattached the mounts to the uh, WeBoost Connect, and uh, it is holding strong. In fact, I extended the pole all the way out this time, which is 25 feet, and uh, I was a little concerned, but uh, it's doing good, and uh, I'm really happy with that. So if you guys happen to mess up <laughs> like I did, um, or for whatever reason, you uh, you need to use different type of, of, of glue or, or tape or something for the um, holders that hold the uh, the, the pole. Uh, you can use the glue. It's, it was five bucks. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. And then um, I just added some tape just for extra security. And uh, it is on there really really solid so all right that's going to do it for today's video with uh reattaching the weboost connect rv65 to my rv slide um if you guys got anything out of this please consider subscribing uh hit that notification bell and of course give me a thumbs up if uh, you got something out of this all right i will see you all at the next video bye